morning and what's up everybody? I'm Nick with Math for Multi Rotors. I hope everybody had a great holiday. I hope everything was safe. I hope you all just had a wonderful time off of work. And let it be known, I'm back here getting these reviews done. Up today, iFlight has sent me a set of their iPika 30 amp D-Shot enabled ESCs. Now these things at this cost are freaking incredible. Let's take a look at them and see how they perform. So the iFlight 30 amp ESC is actually the iPika Bio Heli 30 amp ESC. And inside the package, you get the ESC, really long wires, and then your power and motor wires. Now, this thing by itself is 4 grams. With all these wires not cut to size, you're looking about 10 grams, so somewhere between the two. This is 3 to 6S capable, and it is compatible with the new D-Shot 150, 300, and 600. It's the BB21 MCU, so Scilab's 390s, sorry, you're already obsolete in this hobby. We know how fast that goes, but this will run everything you need, one-shot, multi-shot, and D-Shot up to 600. No capac capacitor filtering, nothing needs to be removed, just plug it in and go. These are $12.99, so a 3 to 6S 30 amp ESC that runs D-Shot for less than $15, these are freaking incredible. Um, I know BL, not BL Heli, Beta Shot 3.1 Beta is the only one currently running this, and I will be testing it with an F4 controller, so it should definitely be able to keep up. There's not going to be any problems with processor power. Now, it's 15 by 30, so it's a little bit larger than the Little Bees, but it is a little bit smaller than the Kiss. So these, I mean, you can see it compared to my finger here. It's not that crazy. I do have a large glove size, but... I mean, on the stick here, right at 3, right at 15, so it's not that big. But I'm going to stick them on to a complete iFlight sponsored build, again with an F4 board and 2205, 2300 kV motors, and we're going to see how this thing goes. Alright guys, I got this thing put together, got to go out and do some thrashing with it today. Um... I'm not going to go into the D-Shot on this video. Um, I'm going to tell you my thoughts and opinions on that in a different video where I compare D-Shot one shot and multi-shot. But I am going to say these ESCs do perform very well. Um, this is the, an all iFlight frame. So it's an ac uh, what is it? It's an F4 board. Revo. There we go. Revo board. Revo F4 board. Running multi-shot and D-Shot and one shot. I tried all of them. Um, with these ESCs, 3 to 6S capable, and these 2205, 2500 kV motors. Um, they did not ever get warm. They handled great. They had plenty of punch and thrust. Th these are absolutely great ESCs. I I'm not going to put them side by side because, honestly, a, a 30 amp, 3 to 6S ESC is more in the Zeus 30 amp category, which we don't use. But these things absolutely work wonderful. Um, one neat little touch I like, they have a status LED on them, so... You're running 16.5 BL Heli. Let's see, remote's on. Little yellow lights come on. It's like a status indicator. It's pretty cool. I don't know if that's all ESCs, but it's the first ones I've seen it on ever. So, um, yeah, I, I used Race Flight and I used Beta Flight. Both of them handled well. This, the quadcopter handles great, and the ESCs work well. So. I don't know, man. I really like them. They put out a lot of power, and the price is damn near unbeatable for what you're getting. So keep an eye out. There'll be a D-shot, multi-shot, one-shot video later, but these ESCs are definitely great. Check them out.